this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line, he would do so again. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English, he was always listening and paying attention to try to learn how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was, it was all sudden, no accident. No, it was all, hey, my boy. Right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proving ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. for this one. Great. I can barely hear myself think in this arena tonight. A fight that has been in our dreams now becomes reality. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus the great Bruce Lee. It's unbelievable that we finally get Khabib versus Bruce Lee. How does Bruce Lee keep this fight standing? How does Bruce Lee keep Khabib Nurmagomedov off of his legs? We know that he has the movement. We know that he has the ability. But how does he implement that into a mixed martial arts fight against one of the greatest fighters of all time? Beautifully timed and place kick there by Nurmago Medov. Cable in, big double leg, level two. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Oh, is he a good counter 
striker counters beautifully with the left hand. Oh, the kick. Oh. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Under three minutes to go in round one. Nice crack there. Nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Khabib's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so that he can get pressure to... Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Straight punch there by Lee. Right hand lands flush. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Look at him, he's setting up the jump now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. You gotta be kidding me. How good is his This dude is constantly work, dodging bullets, man. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Oh, he might be out. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Oh, now he's back on trying. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, now he's in trouble. How in the world did he escape that submission? Ah, that's the next. Ah. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Yermago Medov gets lit up by that straight punch. And blocks the shot there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh! 
Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. Oh, for that. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. He threw it with ill intent. Immediately gets the underhook. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Oh! Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Neil Kelly. Oh, nice. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Lee getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Kick him off. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, ground and pound 101. And now you start to see some swelling appear. Takes his back now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across, and he gets it across. Oh, oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. That hook is bad. His nose is bleeding now. So we'll see how he handles that adversity. But nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Big takedown. Nice entry there to get the takedown. Good wrestling by Nermago Meadow. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Uh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Got his guard pass. Nermago Menov stacking half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes, 
before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here yeah. we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from his position. There it is, now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful here. Oh, and he's attacking Choke now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Nicely done. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. And right into side control. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, it looks like that Dars is tight. Wow, that is great submission defense. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. This fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of setting up a submission. That Dars choke is tight. Oh, come on, that's gotta be it. Oh, he got out. He did a great job of getting his hips away and getting back to his back in order to defend that Dars choke. Well, the grounded pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. And another one. Another strike from the top, lands for him. Relax. Keep your hands high. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in in largely D.C. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Nermanko Medov's going to a compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You've got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Relentless pressure from the top by Nermago Medov. He's got to be careful here. Lee's in half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Grounded pound strike there now. Oh, big elbow. These 
ground strikes are starting to add up. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's it so deep. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. Oh, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Khabib Nurmagomedov, the winner by submission here tonight. This man is completely unstoppable and he proved as much.